Sky is the first and only system to control the iPad with your eyes. It launched in January of 2020, but the rollout hit during the coronavirus lockdown. So when I tried to research the Sky, I found very little information on the internet. I am going to fix that now. Hi. I'm Brad. I have ALS. This is ALS Tech, with the first real-world review of the first eye control device for iPad. The Skyle for iPad Pro. This video was written and edited by me using the Skyle. Because I can't talk, the Proloquo Vortex app is talking for me. Please like this video and subscribe for more videos about using technology to live better with ALS. And please comment below to tell me what you think or ask any questions. I started looking for an eye control device as my hands got weaker and it was harder to use the mouse to control my iPhone. I have used the Toby Dynavox, which is the market leader in eye gaze control. But the software is awful. It operates in Windows with a few custom apps for things like Facebook and Skype, but other than the speaking app, the software just does not work. I have always been an Apple user, and have been controlling my iPhone with a mouse since it was possible in 2019. The Skyle uses the same mouse control feature to control the largest 12.9 inch iPad Pro with your eyes. This feature only launched with iPad OS 13 in late 2019. This was the first time Apple allowed an external pointer device to control the iPad or iPhone. It launched quietly as an accessibility feature. But it was so popular that Apple made it a mainstream feature by early 2020. Why am I telling you all of this? Because this is why it took until 2020 for someone to make an eye gaze control device for iPad. I am grateful to the German company IV for seeing the opportunity. So, let's talk about the Skyle. I really wanted to know what comes in the box. The Skyle sells for just over $3,000 with shipping in the US. It is sold by a distributor in North Carolina called Inclusive TLC. Sadly there is not enough information online to make an informed decision on a $3,000 product. But I took the risk. The staff is very friendly and they shipped quickly, but I had to ask for the tracking number, which was a bummer. The product is packed very well and comes in a beautiful white box. The Sky device is a sensor and a USB hub mounted into a custom aluminum case for the iPad Pro. Remember that it only works with the largest 12.9 inch iPad Pro 3rd or 4th generations. Here is the correct iPad with the Skyle next to the standard size iPad for comparison. I picked up a refurbished 3rd generation on Amazon for about $850 or a new 4th generation starts at $1,100. Links are in the description and buying from those links supports my channel. On the back side of the Skyle is a standard VESA mount for flexible mounting options. Under the center there is a port that looks like a headphone jack. This is for an accessibility switch to use with the Skyle. There is also a mini USB to connect the center to the hub. The user's right side has a USB-C port for charging and HDMI for video output. This hub connects to the iPad. The iPad fits nicely into the case. Plug the USB into the iPad and the Skyle is connected. The sensor draws power from the iPad through the hub. The case is larger than the iPad, so it includes inserts for the power and volume buttons. Once the iPad is plugged in and set, the back panel attaches with nine small screws. So the iPad is not easy to remove from the case during normal use. When the Skyle is hooked up and running, there are two visible red lights in the sensor panel. This is the tracking system that follows your eyes and translates your gaze into pointer movements on the iPad. Now that the Skyle is set in the case, Let's look at the software setup. You will need a caregiver to help with the initial setup of the iPad. First you need to download the free Skyle app from the App Store. You can see from the version history that the team is actively working on the app to make improvements. When you first launch the Skyle app it walks through the settings you need to change to make the Skyle work. You can find all the same information in the Skyle settings inside the app under Tutorials. Just to overview the changes. Assistive Touch enables pointer control and gives you a configurable menu of commands to control the iPad. Scrolling and Home are essential. Dwell Control automatically taps if the pointer stays on a spot for a certain time. You can also use a switch for the tap if you have mobility. Zoomed View makes everything larger and easier to use. 
the sky will not work without it, because eye gaze control is not as accurate as a finger or mouse. Speed, bigger, and cursor are other important adjustments to make sky work properly in the iPad software. Apple changed all these settings around the iPad OS 13.4, so the developers are updating the instructions as Apple changes the rules. I love Apple products, but Apple is notoriously hard to work with. I also think it is funny that the developers did not design the user interface in zoomed mode. There are many places where text is cut off after changing the recommended settings. Hopefully that little bug is fixed by the time you watch this video. Before we leave the settings, make sure this switch is on for augmented reality. And give the app permission to use the camera. I also really like this setting, which allows you to turn the pointer off by staring on the sensor. This is useful when watching a movie and you don't want a cursor following your eyes. Once the settings are set, it's time to calibrate and control your iPad with eye gaze. It is very important to get the scale into the right position. There are two ways to position the scale called video and guided. But neither one works until you tap the oddly named start stream button. Use video to get your eyes centered and use guided to set distance. The sky works best when this box is a clear green. It is also important to get the sky at a straight angle to your eyes. This was a challenge for me because I recline in my wheelchair. Comment below if you want to know more about that. When everything is set, hit the calibrate button and focus on the points. I find it hard not to anticipate the next spot. I always hope for two or more stars for each spot. Now you have the world of the iPad at your service. The assistive touch menu is key to navigating with the sky. You can see the home button and the app switcher, which are very useful. The device menu has a ton of tools to control the iPad. I can play the chess.com app with my friends. Instead of dragging I dwell on the piece then dwell on the space. I can surf the web using the scroll down command. If there is something specific you want to see, comment below and I will make a follow-up video. You may notice that the pointer is a bit jumpy. The skull seems to be very sensitive to vibration and loses control with my eyes. The skull is mounted on my wheelchair, so even the smallest movement can shake the skull. It takes a lot of patience and I am working on different mount options to help reduce shaking. This is one place where Toby Dynavox has a huge head start. They have been ruling the eye gaze control market for years and have a solid technology. But while they are better at tracking eyes in more situations, you can't do anything good with your eyes because their software is awful. Skyle is from a new startup company IV that is actively working to improve the product. It has some shortcomings that they need to fix. For example, it does not work with eyeglasses and it is best for someone who is savvy with the iPad operating system. But Skyle has done something huge. They have opened the expansive Apple ecosystem to eye gaze control. People with ALS or similar conditions can stay connected to the people they love through Facebook and FaceTime. They can play games together with House Party or Chess.com. They can keep up with the news online or learn new things on YouTube. Skyle for iPad Pro is not perfect. Yet. But it is a very solid product right now. I think software improvements and more user data will make it a great product. I am happy to help innovative products succeed. Thanks for watching my review. What do you think of this guy? Did I answer your questions? What else do you want to know? Please tell me in the comments. 
and be sure to subscribe to ALS Tech for more video on how to use technology to make life easier with ALS.